Till now we have seen the effect of time scaling and coefficient used on the system linearity and we found the system linearity is independent of both time scaling and coefficient used. Now in this presentation we are going to find out the effect of any added or subtracted term other than input and output on the system linearity. And for this we will take our sixth problem. In this problem the relationship is like this yt is equal to 2t plus xt and in this relationship yt is the output of the system xt is the input of the system and this 2t here is the added term and if you look closely you will find it is time dependent so the added term is time dependent in this case and it is good to find out the functionality of the system first and after which we will check if the system follows the principle of superposition or not and the functionality of the system is pretty easy to find out the input is xt the input to the system is xt and the output is yt which is equal to 2t plus xt now if you compare xt with 2t plus xt you will find the system is adding a term which is 2t. So this is the functionality of the system every time it is going to add 2t to the given input. Now we will check the law of additivity the law of additivity and to check the law of additivity I will take one input x1t and for this input our system produces a output y1t and we can easily find out the value of y1t the system will add 2t to the given input the given input is x1t so y1t is simply equal to 2t plus x1t and following the same process if we have input x2t then the output of the system which is y2t will be equal to 2t plus x 2t and now I will add y1t and y2t y1t plus y2t and it will be equal to 4t 2t plus 2t will be 4t plus x1t plus x2t this is what we have now in step number 2 we will add the two inputs directly and then we will feed it to our system so let's add the two inputs we will have x1t plus x2t and now we will feed it to our system and let's say the output is y dash t and it will be equal to 2t plus x1t plus x2t because this is the functionality of the system the system will add 2t to the given input the input is x1t plus x2t so the system will add 2t to the input which is x1t plus x2t now if you compare the two results 4t plus x1t plus x2t with 2t plus x1t plus x2t you will find they are not same here we have 4t here we have 2t and as they are not same the law of additivity is not satisfied so the system does not follow the law of additivity and hence it does not follow the principle of superposition and we can say that the system is non-linear so you can see when we have an added term which is time dependent the system is non-linear in place of added term if we have a subtracted term like this minus 2t then also you will have the same result the system will be non-linear so this is one conclusion we have but we need to check the other condition also when we have time independent term and for this we will take our seventh problem seventh problem in this the relationship is like this yt is equal to 2 plus xt so this is our system relationship and you can clearly see yt is the output of the system xt is the input of the system and this 2 here is the added term and if you compare 2t with 2 you will find we have a constant term here so we are adding a constant term or we can say time independent term 
and to find out the functionality of the system you can simply compare the input and the output the input to the system is xt and it is giving us the output yt which is equal to 2 plus xt now we will compare the input and the output you can see instead of xt we have 2 plus xt so the system is going to add 2 every time to the input so this is the functionality of the system and now we will find out if the system is linear or non-linear now instead of checking the law of additivity first I will check law of homogeneity and to check the law of homogeneity we will take one constant let's say k and multiply it to our output yt so xt is the input given to the system and the system is producing the output yt now we will multiply a constant k to the output yt and this will give us k yt now k yt k yt is equal to 2k plus k xt from here you can see k y t is equal to 2k plus k x t now instead of multiplying k to the output y t we will multiply the same constant k to our input so after multiplying we have k x t now we will use it as the input and let's say the output is y dash t y dash t will be equal to 2 plus k x t because according to the functionality of the system it will always add 2 to the given input the given input is kxt so y dash t will be equal to 2 plus kxt now if you compare the two results you will find here we have 2k plus kxt and here we have 2 plus kxt so here we have 2k here we have 2 and rest part is same so the two results are not same and hence the system is not following the law of homogeneity and as it is not following the law of homogeneity there is no need to check if the system is following the law of additivity because we are mainly concerned about the principle of superposition and if any one out of law of homogeneity and law of additivity is violated the principle of superposition is violated so in this case the principle of superposition is violated and hence the system is non-linear in nature so if you compare the two cases you will find here we have the added term which is time dependent this minus I have applied after solving the problem so if you have added or subtracted term which is time dependent the system is going to be non-linear and if you have added or subtracted term which is time independent then also the system is going to be non-linear so there is no need to worry about the time dependency whenever you have any added or subtracted term the system is going to be non-linear this is our third conclusion now if you remember the condition for a system to be time invariant system the third condition was there should be constant or zero as the added or subtracted term other than the input and the output this means the added or subtracted term should not have any dependency on the time it should be constant or zero for example in this case we have a constant term so this is time invariant system I can say this because the third condition is satisfied the added term is a constant term it is independent of time and the first two conditions are also satisfied according to first condition there should be no time scaling in input and output and in both input and output there is no time scaling and also the coefficient should be constant so the coefficients are constant here you can see here we have one it is constant and also here we have one so the coefficients are also constant and we can say that the system is time invariant but non-linear so this is all for this lecture and now we will move to our homework problems there are two homework problems in the first homework problem yt is equal to 2t cube minus x t cube this is the system relationship and in the second homework problem y t is equal to x t minus 1 plus x t plus 1 so these are the two problems and you need to tell me whether the two systems are linear or non-linear and once you have your answer 
post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.